Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and today I'm literally sitting in my class and I get a notification that LEGO has revealed the entirety of the greatest LEGO Harry Potter range I have ever seen. So we have pictures for I think almost all of the summer sets and they look phenomenal. I have literally never seen a greater Harry Potter range ever. We're going to take a look at all those sets now before my next class. So it's going to be a quick and dirty review but we can get this done. The very first set is going to be set number 76400, Hogwarts Carriage and Thestrals with 121 pieces. This set will be retailing for $19.99 USD or $20, and this is so cool. We get a baby Thestral for the first time ever in LEGO form, which is so cool. And of course, the normal Thestral mold returns for the first time since Fantastic Beasts in 2018. You get a brand new exclusive Luna Lovegood and Harry Potter minifigure here, which is absolutely phenomenal, along with a pretty decent tree build and then a very accurate carriage build to what we see in the actual Harry Potter films. Looks like Luna Lovegood has a quibbler print that is identical to uh, the one that appeared in the Hogwarts trunk set, and also if you notice, she's reading it upside down. I know the images are horribly blurry, and I do apologize for that. This is the best quality I could find, but she's reading it upside down, which is just such a good little detail for Lego to slip in here, and that's just so cool. Also, this is from the sixth book, which we barely ever get sets from. I think we've gotten maybe one set in the entire history of the Harry Potter theme from it. So it's so cool to see that here. The build itself isn't anything too special. It's literally just a basic carriage, but the minifigures are great. Looks like the same hair and faces. However, Luna has a brand new torso piece with some very nice purple legs. Looks like a cardigan over top, medium legs in tan, and a brand new blue satchel. Harry has a combination outfit. We've, bought, we've gotten both the Gryffindor robes and the blue jacket before, but never together. So it's nice to get that here. Overall, the set looks great. Really, the standout's that baby Thestral. Uh, Thestral mold remains unchanged. And then the minifigures, like I said, look great. Pretty decent set. Can't wait to pick it up. Next, though, we have set number 76406, the Hungarian Horntail Dragon, with 671 pieces. This has one minifigure, an exclusive Harry, and is the next in line of, like, the flappable characters like Fox and Hedwig. This one, I don't know how much it's going to retail for. I'm assuming $60 or $70, given the piece count, but this is definitely the most impressive-looking version of this set ever, and I cannot wait to pick this up. This is the perfect Hungarian Horntail, so much better than the one that appeared in the set. I love the purple and orange fire piece. And also, there's a brand new design for the broom. It's got a new tail piece attached to one of the plunger parts, which is a really, really cool uh, new way to do brooms, different colors. And we see that used with greater effect uh, in future sets. On the back of the box, it just kind of showcases the play feature, the wings flap. That's nothing new. We expected that. But this looks so cool. You have the Hungarian horn tail. Not sure if that's a print or a sticker on the bottom there. I'm assuming it's going to be a print. There's some cloth wing pieces, but... Honestly, it's just such a cool set. And it's 15 inches wide. It, it, it's, it's bigger than a foot. Like the wingspan, bigger than a foot. That's so cool. That's crazy. And then this Harry Potter minifigure is truly spectacular. We have dual molded printed arms, which is just like, what? What? Dual molded printed arms. All right. Pop off, Lego. I love it. And then just honestly, a really great looking set. Next, we have a remake of a very classic Harry Potter set, 76401, the Hogwarts Courtyard Series' Rescue, with 345 pieces. This three minifigure set will probably be retailing for $30 to $40, and this is a remake of a set that we haven't seen since 2000 and, was that, like, two or three, probably? Uh, because this is from the third book, and I love this. This is a really, really great rendition of the set. Although they did color swap Buckbeak, because the last time we saw him, he was gray, not white. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. I'll take a white hippogriff mold. I mean, it's exclusive, so that's even better. And for some reason, there are two collectible wizarding cards included in this set, but no others so far. You see the new style of broom again there, which looks pretty great. Not... I'm not like 110% sold on it, but it is pretty good. We see the stairs returning for the first time since, I believe, 2018's Great Hall. And you get some really good details in here, some nice stickers. And then at the very top, there is a jail cell as well. Sirius can ride Buckbeak. It's just a really good Hogwarts expansion. It looks like it has some new angles and, like, uh, different shaping, so it'll help kind of diversify the look of the castle. Jail cell all the way at the top for what looks like to be a new Sirius minifigure. And then here we have Harry and Hermione along with Buckbeak. The Time Turner print returns, and I believe these are the exact same variants from the Hospital Wing set we already got, although I don't have any clearer pictures of the minifigures. That being said, I cannot wait for this set. I think it's a remake that's long overdue, and I will always take more cute expansions for the Hogwarts Castle. 
So here we have set number 76402, Hogwarts Dumbledore's office with 654 pieces. This is also the first time we've seen this set done since 2002, which is crazy. And we have a brand new exclusive character as well. For the first time ever, I believe her name is Madam Pince, the librarian, which is so cool to see. I never thought we would get her in Lego form. There's also a baby fox here included, a brand new uh, print for Miss Norris. We get a new filch figure. Like there's a lot of stuff packed into this set. It's ridiculous. On the back, you can kind of see some of the rooms at the very top. We have a room for the Sword of Gryffindor, then moving down, there's the Pensieve, and then the actual Dumbledore's office with a perch for the Sorting Hat, his desk, and a perch for Fox. And then directly beneath that, we have the library with Madame Pince. There is a play feature there, returning from the original Hogwarts set, where if you push some leaves on the outside, some books will fall out. The Screaming Book from the very first Harry Potter movie is also included, and it's really nice to see Filch here because he also interacted quite a lot with Harry Potter during this scene. There are three wizarding cards included here, along with the Invisibility Cloak, which has not appeared since the uh, CMF series, I believe. I don't know if it's the same piece or not. We'll have to wait and see. The set itself is just a really great Hogwarts expansion, and the minifigures, though, that's what really kills it. Does not look like Harry, Hermione, or Snape are exclusive. However, Madame, uh, Madame Pince, Dumbledore, Filch, and Miss Norris are, which is really great. Love the new printing on Dumbledore. Madame Pince has some truly spectacular black and green robes, along with a brand new hat mold, which is super cool. And then Filch looks like they just gave him some new clothes. I love this set, cannot wait to pick it up, probably one of the most interesting ones so far, but this set honestly is dog water compared to what comes next. 76407. It's the Shrieking Shack and the Whopping Willow. I have wanted the Shrieking Shack, the original one. That is my most wanted Harry Potter set of all time. Like that in the original Graveyard Duel. Like my mom used to buy a ton of Harry Potter sets. She got a bunch of the classic ones from 2001, 2, and then skipped the two years, three, 2003 and 2004 for books three and four when I was born. So my fault, but now we finally have a chance to get another Shrieking Shack here. We have Ron, Harry, and Hermione. I believe the same variants in the hospital wing. I don't know why you change it because this is literally like 10 minutes apart. Like the scenes are right next to each other, so it's good they reused them. We get Animagus forms for Sirius Black and um, uh, Peter Pettigrew, excuse me, along with a werewolf form for the first time ever for Lupin. Uh, we've had werewolf heads for him before, but never a full body. There's a really cool play feature to bring up the moon as well, which is super neat. I'll uh, look you on the interior here. I got better pictures in a second, but you have a really cool play feature to kind of like swivel this around. The moon comes out and Lupin turns into a werewolf, which is a really great play feature. And we have four wizarding cards included in this set. And there's a way you can kind of tilt the Whomping Willow as well as some kind of decrepit fence build included. On the interior, we have two main rooms, the sitting room up top with a fireplace, painting, and bed, it looks like, and then the room down below, which has an exit uh, through the wall, along with a painting, a chair, and a table. That looks great. The minifigures included are phenomenal. I love the, I'm not sure if it's a new, it's not a new mold, but the, the Animagus form for series is great. Peter Pettigrew is the same old rat. Harry, Ron, Hermione, we've already looked at those minifigures on the channel, but Lupin here is a werewolf. Oh, he looks great. But I don't know if I have any pictures of Lupin as a minifigure or actually any of the three of the ones who turn to animals as actual minifigures. I would love to see what their prints look like. Oh, never mind. Asking you shall receive. Brand new Sirius, although this might be the same version that appears in the um, Escape Tower uh, earlier. Pettigrew looks like a brand new... Uh, Brand new clothes and face print, yes. And then Lupin, brand new everything for him, which looks really cool. Love these for Demogorgon legs. I think that works really well for him, honestly. But next, guys, it, I'm literally speechless. I am, I am quite, I, 76403, the Ministry of Magic with 990 pieces. How many minifigures? That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 minifigures. I'm li like, when I, like, I, like, like when I tell you, I literally cannot formulate a thought right now. This has been a set that I have wanted, but okay. So I'm just gonna, and I know that this is gonna be a messy part of the video because I'm, I don't even know what pictures I have here, but I'm just gonna, so starting off, and we're gonna use my little mouse here, we have the phone booth to enter the ministry, which is so cool. 
Inside the ministry, we have one of the flu networks, it's the green flames, the little suit of the greats, that looks perfect. We have Umbridge interrogating the wife for having a wand when she was a, um, I believe a mudblood. And then we have her Patronus cat, which is so cool. There's the, the uh, letters that fly through the elevator. We have Ron, Harry, and her, sorry, Ron, Harry, and Hermione in their um, stolen avatar form. So that's, uh, they're, they're married. And then there's Hermione and Harry. I forget their names. I, I really do. I'm sorry. Um, but it looks like from here, there's ghostly versions behind them. So you can turn them back into Harry, Ron, Hermione, which is why there's so many minifigures in the set. And then we have the new Minister for Magic. I believe that's Scringemore. And then there's another um, one of the uh, it's a, either Lucius Malfoy or Oil or whoever the um, villain is. Excuse me, I don't mean to go forward there. Whoever that villain is that helped Umbridge, that's him. Then we get a golden statue as well as a Dementor with a new way to suck out souls, which is really cool. Exploding papers. I believe that's a print that says undesirable number one. Stranger Things newspaper print returns here. Looks like we have those exploding black... Um, uh, noisemaker things from Fred and George's shop, shooting off like explosive bits of powder up there, which is so cool. Ministry banner is here, and I don't know if there's going to be an interior, but wow, was that a lot. All right, there is an interior. So it looks like here we have, is this Umbridge's office? No, this is Umbridge's office. Okay, that's really cool. We get the cat plates and the pink, finally. Some kind of cool cabinet, some more of those posters. Looks like you can put a minifigure inside here. Oh, yeah, all the characters do change out. All of this is modular. This is, oh, that's Arthur Weasley. They include Arthur Weasley along with Arthur Weasley's office with all these muggle artifacts. That is so clever. I don't know what this play feature is here. Um, this might be the, is this the, is this the, prof are these the prophecies? Do they just mix the following prophecies from the next book into here? I don't know. Also, also, hang on. I just realized this is a Deathly Hollow set. This is from Deathly Hollows. Lego, the Lego group said they were never going to do a Lego set from the Deathly Hollows. Holy shit. Language. Holy crap. Deathly Hollows. Oh, I'm so excited to see what next year is going to bring. This is literally like the coolest set ever. Like, not only does it look cool, like the green color scheme is phenomenal, but we get some truly amazing minifigures. I mean, Umbridge does not have leg printing, but she's got a brand new torso print. This figure's got a brand new torso print. Uh, at least some kind of unique suit. Brand new torso, brand new torso. Don't know about this mini. Brand new torso, brand new torso. Uh, Dementor is probably the exact same. Uh, gold minifigure, I have all those parts already, except I think the beard is exclusive. But no, this set is just absolutely phenomenal, and I have, I wish I had better pictures of the minifigures, but this is pretty decent, all things considered. I just love this. This is so perfect. I, I cannot wait to get my hands on this. And I forgot to say it's probably going to retail for about $100, so I think this is worth it. But the best set, the final set, 76408. 12 Grimhold Place with 1,083 pieces, $120. Guys, it's Grimhold Place. Guys, yo, I don't know how big this is. I'm not sure if it can fit in with the other modular buildings. I, I honestly, I don't know. Um, but holy crap, is this cool. So right off the bat, what I know is that the other doors are stickers. You cannot open them. The front of the building is just a facade. The entire interior is just for Grimhold Place. There's a weather vane at the top. We have a Nymphadora Tonks minifigure included with a different color hairpiece, so better than the burrow. You get Ron and Mrs. Weasley with brand new prints. You get Crookshanks, but no Hermione. Creature for the first time ever. New prints for Sirius. Kingsley Shacklebolt uh, for the first time since the CMF series. Fred and George with new prints. And then Harry looks like a reuse. We get two new versions of the new broom as well. Exclusive coloring for Kingsley Shacklebolt. And that's just so cool. And it looks like there's some kind of arrow play feature. I don't know what this... Okay. Wait. Actually, you can close the facade you can like apparently you can slide the fronts of the like white tan buildings over top it and then open it to reveal grimhold place underneath i don't know how that works but that's apparently a thing okay so this is a facade this is not a modular um on the interior we have a little room it looks like ron's sitting with crookshanks we have stickers for the serious black family tree with the members burned out which is probably the coolest part of this entire set Creature looks amazing. Brand new mold. I cannot wait to get my hands on him. That play feature is phenomenal. And then it looks like Tonks. You cannot see it here, but she's got another color for her hairpiece there in red and a pig snout face. We got the pig snout face. Let's go. This is so detailed. And Fred also, they have a build for their extendable ear. Bing! 
never thought we'd get an extendable ear in Lego, and that's a one by one, so you know we're getting an extra version of that piece. That is so cool. Is that a piano? This is so cool. This is so cool. I love this. This is an off. This is god awful quality for this image. Wow. Um, here are the minifigures. So Kingsley Shacklebolt with brand new prints looks great. Nymphadora Tonks, love her purple hair. Her red hair piece is great. I wish we had a better version of her snout nose picture, but this is honestly such a better. I didn't mean to go far there. Such a better outfit than what we saw in the last time the burrow. New prints for Sirius. Nothing new for Harry. Those blue jeans look atrocious. New print for Ron, don't like his pants either. Molly's got leg printing, which is really nice. I love the continuation of that pattern. Fred and George look great, same torso print, but that's to be expected. And then Creature, I love that face. I love that, that is perfect. This is such a good set, oh my goodness. And then also one more thing I wanted to mention is set number 40560 will be the Professors of Hogwarts Brickheads, a four pack for $40. This will be four, uh, four full size characters which is interesting because my original thought right away, I heard four pack, oh, um, Severus, McGonagall, Flitwick, and Sprout. But I don't think that's possible because if they were gonna do that, wouldn't it be $35 because Flitwick is um, short, so he would be a half brick heads for five, not 10. So my thoughts is that they're gonna be doing definitely McGonagall and Snape. There's no way we don't get McGonagall and Snape in this. I think they're probably going to remake Dumbledore because we haven't gotten Dumbledore since the original Brickheads line, and we've already seen a repeat of Hagrid now and Harry, Ron, Hermione. I really hope Hagrid does not show up in the set because we've already seen him twice. We don't need a third version. So my personal predictions for this four-pack, it's going to be Snape, McGonagall, Dumbledore, and then a professor from the Defense Against the Dark Arts. Either Moody or Lupin is, that's my gut feeling. I'm thinking it's going to be Lupin, though, so Snape, Lupin, McGonagall, and Dumbledore, because also all of them are members of the Order of the Phoenix, and, well, technically, I guess, the, um, Matt and Moody would count for that, too, but that's my, that's my predictions. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And all right, that's everything. That's everything. That's the full video, guys. But holy crap, did we get some of the coolest LEGO Harry Potter sets ever revealed today? I mean, this has got to be the greatest wave of all time. Like, I can't think of another time that LEGO has revealed Harry Potter sets save the Great Hall in 2018 when they announced the team was coming back, that I have been this excited. We get sets from the Deathly Hollows, and we get sets from the Half-Blood Prince. And those are two of my favorite books. Like, honestly, book four is my favorite. But, like, this is the ending. This is, the like, books five, six, and seven. Like, we're here. Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince. Like, we're, we're here. And that is so cool because these have been some of the like historically most underutilized Harry Potter movies to do Lego sets for. And we get so many new minifigures. Like that ministry set has, I think, five new characters. We get a brand new character in Dumbledore's Tower with the, um, the librarian. We get like, uh, oh, it's just, there's the creature. There's, there's so many just random new characters. They went all out for molds and designs. The, the, the Hogwarts Castle expansions look wonderful. The fact that we're getting Grimhold Place and the Ministry of Magic and Hogwarts it is is almost unreal. I, mean, I forgot about the, hu the Hungarian horn tail. Like, make sure to leave your thoughts about this in the comment section down below, guys. Seeing this literally broke me. I've got to go run to class now. I'm going to be a little late, but that's okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic and safe rest of your day. And I'll catch you all in the very next video.